Hi everyone, it is currently the 12th of June 2012 and out here in the Western Pacific today we are watching an area around Taiwan. This is a rainy season stationary boundary and it has been bringing a copious amount of rainfall. That's what we're first going to start touching on and then uh, later on in the update we're going to get in uh, to uh, invest or now tropical depression. Uh, 05W that has been upgraded by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and as well as the Japan Meteorological Agency. But first, let's talk about this rainy season stationary boundary that is currently affecting people out here across a bunch of the Western Pacific. And here's actually a drawing I threw together on this area. I know it's very crude, but it does give you a good idea of what's going on out here. And you have that rainy season boundary extending here across much of southeastern China. And with that is bringing that heavy precipitation, especially here in southern Taiwan, under all that cloud cover. This area has seen upwards of 656 millimeters of rainfall in just the past 24 hours. And with that said, the risk of flooding and landslides is going to be very high high at risk here and unfortunately this boundary is expected to continue to linger it's going to be very stubborn it's really due to the interaction of this high pressure here off towards the north and this Westpac high circled right in here and once those two interact you have this troughing that forms up in the middle that troughing thus results in the rainy season front so it's not going anywhere fast and unfortunately it does look like this heavy precipitation is going to be causing some problems so we definitely will continue to keep you posted here at westernpacificweather.com in regards to that and not only there in Taiwan but also southeastern China and even over towards southern Japan in the coming days as this frontal system starts to lift slowly off towards the north expecting upwards of about 100 to 150 millimeters there in Amani region and also the southern Japanese islands so why spread of rain showers being caused by this front. Now, farther down here towards the southeast, let's talk of Tropical Depression 05W here, and it is a tropical depression hasn't quite made it up to tropical storm status thus, and has not been given a name. Uh, JTWC though is calling it the Tropical Depression just as well as JMA out here, so they do agree on that, and that was just the JTWC's track here, pushing it off there towards the northwest. We'll talk more about that in a second, but for the time being, let's think about this system and it is very very disorganized uh, really there is a center of convection circulating around the center of circulation it's located here just south of Guam you have some outflow and even an attempt at a very crude uh, banding coming around the system but look at all this dry air around it plenty of dry air being filtered in from the north right now uh, coming out of that West Pack High thus development I personally think is going to be very slow on the other hand though the Joint Typhoon Warning Center actually is expecting this to develop up rather quickly here into the coming days becoming a tropical storm within the next 24 hours just as much as JMA actually agrees on that but they expect it to go up to 90 gusting up to 110 knots here just east of the Philippines on the 16th and on the 15th and likely after that it would begin to recurve eventually skimming the coast of Okinawa still very long range on that though uh, we will continue to keep you tuned in but for now really the main concern here is going to be right around Yap that's this on right in here but also Palau you potentially could be seeing some heavy rainfall and then the east coast of Philippines you're inside the cone of air here I don't think that you will be seeing a landfall from the storm basically due to the interaction of the southwest monsoon on this and also as it continues to work around the west pack high there and off towards the northwest now this is no gaps and no gaps really I, I agree with them the most GFS is actually keeping the storm relatively weak pushing it off towards the Philippines Coamps is not quite picking up on it but no gaps actually develops it up rather quickly here and not too quick but still gets it into a strong tropical storm status but you don't see that curvature of all the moisture wrapping around it like you would in a typhoon so I think uh, strong tropical storm severe tropical storm that is or weak typhoon and max before before it hits the westerlies right in here you have that rainy season stationary boundary that will wrap it up and eventually shoot it off there towards the northeast becoming extra tropical so therefore at that then therefore at this time I, I do think that this storm will continue to move off there towards the west eventually the northwest following along the southern periphery of that West Pack High uh, passing just north of Yap that's going to bring those rain showers there and once it hits that southwest monsoon right in this area eventually starts to push off there towards north hits that rainy season stationary boundary and basically shoots due 
northeast uh, getting wrapped up in that and becoming extra tropical rather quickly these are just my thoughts on it it's not official at all please do not take this as an official warning uh, do check in with actually the National Weather Service out of Guam they're basically mirroring uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's warning zone and also of course JMA although JMA at this time is only looking out about 24 hours on this tropical system and they have it pushing towards the west affecting the app here in about the next several days or at least that's what it looks like in the extent and outlook but with jma though they only go out 24 hours with a tropical depression that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com as always if you have any questions comments or suggestions uh, please post them in the comment box below and also i do hope that you enjoyed uh, my touchpad here today uh, it's the second time i've used this during a video update so i always appreciate the feedback if you do want to give some uh, i've been trying to experiment with it and writing these fronts arrows etc so uh, that's all for right now, though, and thanks again for watching, everybody. Have a great day.